So the question I'm trying to answer here is, will bleach and hydrogen peroxide react? Bleach, it's sodium hypochlorite. It's an OCl minus ion, along with a sodium ion. Hydrogen peroxide is just like water, but it has two oxygens in the center instead of just one. It is generally an oxidizing agent, and it's going to give away its oxygen to the same place that this oxygen disappears to. You're going to get 1O from there and 1O from there making an oxygen gas molecule. You're also going to be left over with sodium chloride. See, there's the NA and the Cl. Now it just doesn't have the O. And there's the hydrogen peroxide missing one of the O's to leave you with just water. It's kind of an innocuous reaction. The only real action that takes place is that you make a gas. If the concentrations of your hydrogen peroxide and bleach were strong, you could end up with so much foaming that it like sprays bleach in your eye or something. But if you have, like I do here with you, regular household hydrogen peroxide, which is only 3%, and regular household bleach, which is 5%, sodium hypochlorite, they're so dilute that you're just going to see bubbling and then nothing else serious is going to happen. Now, I must say, don't do this at home. I am actually a trained chemist and uh, you're probably not. So just watch. Remember, this is me adding bleach, sodium hypochlorite to hydrogen peroxide. Oh man, I didn't expect it to be like that. That almost sprayed me in the eye. How dangerous would that have been? Don't do chemical reactions if you don't know what to expect. I was expecting some bubbling, but boy, not quite that much. I'm lucky that I'm still, that my eyeballs are intact. Anyways, that's it. I'm basically left with some salt water, that's sodium chloride mixed with water, and the oxygen gas, you can kind of see that some of the bubbles are still in there. But uh, I mean, the reaction's over. Reacted, done. What more do you want? Don't try that at home. But hey, uh, you're probably not going to die doing it. Just saying. Best of luck.